Hello everyone, my name is Tim Giovanni. I'm the Director of Training at Tingbun China Suzhou Center. Today, I wish to introduce to you the Cosmic Dog. A lot of times I have shown you the Cosmic Dog either through live demonstration or you can see it on Billy Billy. This dog was made by Mercury Filmworks, which is a very famous 2D animation studio to demonstrate the great possibilities inside Harmony and how to make a very nice character rig animation and do VFX inside. So now, because a lot of people are wondering how was it made, I'm going to show you how to break it down and make a cool character like this. So get ready everyone, in this tip of the week we're going to show you the Cosmic Dog. Tune Boon Harmony 特壁动画师是一款世界各地都在运用的专业动画制作软件。来自全世界的艺术家在用此软件创作精彩的动画作品。无论您喜欢无纸动画还是原件动画 ，Harmony 二一都能帮您将优质的动画变成席卷市场的潮流，可充分满足学生、自由职业者、艺术家以及从事专业动画制作的用户们的各式需求。千变万化的传统笔刷可以帮助您实现所有想象。Harmony 具有先进的绘图和矢量绘图引擎，具有六十四位深度合成系统，具有着色、法线贴图、环境光遮蔽和集成照明系统。它允许渲染多种文件类型，包括 ProRes、EXR 多层写入文件、SWF 等。Harmony 通过使用高级角色绑定和变形工具，大幅提升了动画工作室的制作效率。通过使用主控制器和动作模板，以及绑定控制系统，快速地完成更多的动画帧，并提升动画师的工作表现。Harmony 可以将 2D 和 3D 动画结合起来，允许用户在任意角色中添加多种骨骼和关节。通过优化引擎、贴图纹理图集和骨骼，它可以轻松地将您的设计集成到游戏中，从而成为下一个热门游戏。Two Boom Harmony。二维动画的黄金标杆。Mercury Filmworks is a Canadian independent animation studio based in Ottawa, Canada. It has provided Tim Boom Animation production for several of Disney television animation projects since 2010. In this actual video. I'm gonna first show you how it's broken down. When I open up the Cosmic Dog file, it's already made, and you will notice that it has been rendered in one actual pass. Right now, I'm using Toon Boom Harmony 21 as my working software. It is the newest version of the Harmony animation software packages. It has a lot of functions and features that makes unique characters. That are 2D and 3D looking. So definitely take time to look at this software on our website, tunboom.com.cn. Now let's take a look at the Cosmic Dog and how it is animated. When watching this animation, you will see that it's very fluid, and it has a lot of secondary animation and timing that is nice and unique. Also inside the dog. You can see space inside of it, which means it has a VFX mask. Basically, it has a visual effect of outer space that's inside of the dog. So, Tim Boom Harmony allows you to have this type of. Visual effects added to your 2D characters, which gives it a nice, unique look. This goes beyond just a standard 2D character look, but actually, you can time and animate these effects to go on and off while you're making your own animation. Now, this render pass that you see here is with the final composite with the visual effects, and we're going to go over this visual effects later. I just want to show you how it looks, and all the actual layers put together. If you notice that this is not an actual vector, but a bitmap, you are correct. They took the vector layer, re-rendered one pass, and added effects to it, 
just so that way it's a little bit faster when doing the VFX. So you're going to see that this is an actual composition of the VFX or visual effects applied to the drawings. But let me actually go ahead and show you the drawings themselves and how they are made. So now I opened up the actual girl. Her name is Star. And Star is actually made through different drawing layers that are rigged using deformers. Now as you can see, not all the drawing layers have deformers, but it is a very top quality rigged character that allows for subtle animation using both scaling tools and deformation tools to make the character move fluidly up and down as she is running. So I'm going to show you quickly some of how the rig is made by overview the head, the body, the arms, and the feet and how the deformers and the cutters are made and lined up. One technique that you will see is that for the clothing they actually have deformers inside the clothing on one line using the curved deformer and then they cut out that clothing using a simple cutter tool. So that way the lines are deforming using squash and stretch but also cut out so that way they don't overlap to the arms or to the legs. One thing to note that Mercury Filmworks used is a lot of good uses of the cutter tool. They actually added the deformers inside the cutter tool so that way the clothes can move fluidly. As the hair and the shoes move up and down, you can see the cutter tool that is used to make it go fluidly. When you're making this type of character, you always want to plan first what parts can be rigged using the deformer tools and what parts cannot be rigged. So as you can see, they have a very simple style for the shoe, but it allows it to be broken apart and rigged, so that way it can make the deformation. To show the level of detail inside the shoe, I'm actually gonna spread out the drawing so you can see the materials inside of it that's being cut by the actual mask layer. As I mentioned, some parts are very simple, such as the hand. It actually is two drawing layers that are using swaps, and then they're using the transform tool, scale and skew to deform it. This is a very useful trick when you're doing animation in TV series, and you don't have to worry about deformers for everything. You use scale and skew to make it look a little bit deformed inside your animation.
One useful trick to make a clothing wrinkle line deform is making one stroke and then adding a curved deformer to it. This way, as your character moves and animates with your clothing, you can animate that wrinkle line very easily with your curved deformer. You can turn it on and off using the drawing swap tool. So that way, when you don't need to use it, it turns off. And when you need to use that clothing wrinkle, you just turn it on. Now for the cosmic dog. The dog itself is made in different drawing layers and has deformers on those drawing layers to make it move and deform very fluidly. One thing to note that the feet has nice drawing blending to it and that's actually one spot drawn inside of it that can be actually moved around while it's animating. So it's actually not a gradient on the foot but actually one blending spot that moves around with the foot so that way it blends the foot with the actual leg. So I'm going to show some examples of this cool blending inside the feet to be used during this kind of animation. And you'll see it being used a lot in this dog. You will see this trick being used a lot in characters to make that nice soft shading but actually it's just a dot being moved around um, between the character's legs or the feet and different types of rigs. Now for the ears, you'll see the same trick that we had for the clothing wrinkle. The line in the ears is actually rigged as a deformer using the curved deformer. Because Harmony is not very good at deforming textures, they actually broke out the texture into different layers and then animate those separately. Same thing with the tail, they just broke the tail into different pieces and then have them blend together to make one single tail. It's very easy to animate without any problems with texture inside the rig, so that way it looks very nice and fluid when it's animating using three different sections of the tail to make one tail.
for the body itself, it's using the same trick as the feet. There's just one big, large gradient dot in the middle, and then there's a mask around it that fades around. So the body, the neck itself, has the same trick as the feet. It's just one big, large gradient dot in the middle, and then the body cuts it and then blends it into the actual character. It's very useful, and it saves a lot of uh, energy trying to animate gradients when you have a mask cut into a gradient and then use that to animate inside the character. Now that we went ahead and overviewed how the Cosmic Dog was made using the node view and the pieces, in the next video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build the Cosmic Dog using Toon Boom Harmony.